What's up, people? Welcome back to Total OS Today, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. Well, for beginners, another episode in, in the GNOME 3 for beginners for this year. Uh, when you are downloading and testing in or running GNOME 3, you need the tweak tool. It is a must-have tool, really, for beginners and non-beginners to make this GNOME 3 a little bit more usable and more friendly. Now, the tweak tool is installed by default in both Debian 8 and this is actually, um, I'm running Point Linux. Very nice also. This is the minimalist or the minimal install and I'm adding software as I go. But the tweak tool is installed by default. As you see here, if you click extensions, this will give you the list of extensions here. Uh, you can turn these on, off, on or off by clicking the tab here. Um, I also turned on the title bar buttons as you see here minimize maximize and exit out of that so this is mandatory in my opinion to make this as user-friendly as possible well let's go ahead to the uh, extensions.gnome.org and um, let's go ahead and look at the installed extensions what I think a short list briefly of what I think is very important to have if you are going to keep the GNOME 3 desktop environment for Linux. All right, the alternate tab, the applications menu, very, very user-friendly, the drop-down menu here, auto move windows, the gradient top bar, turn this on, it will make this a little bit transparent as you see here. That actually looks pretty good, so there it is off on. I guess I could leave that on. It's more aesthetics really than functionality. All right, launch new instance, the media player indicator, uh, this will give you the drop-down media player integration here when you're running a certain a media player such as Rhythmbox, Banshee, Clementine, and more as you see here. All right, the no top left hot corner, don't really need that. Open weather I installed, that's this over here. Let's see, places status indicator, recent items. Uh, let's see, remove drop down arrows. Yeah, I guess I can turn that on or off. Suspend button. Topicons, very important. Trash, I installed the trash. It's hard to tell, but it's right here. Let's go ahead and empty that. And that's my trash. Let's see, user themes, window list, workspace indicator. And that's it. That is my fairly short list of extensions for your GNOME 3 desktop environment. Now there are many many more to choose from so I just clicked uh, installed extensions here if you just go to extensions you may want to browse through this and pick your own. There's 20 pages here you may find some of these a little bit more useful or mandatory for your experience in GNOME 3. I just picked and showed the ones that I need uh, to make this, I believe, at least more user-friendly for uh, beginners. So definitely take a look at both um, Point Linux, which seems to be running very good. I've been testing these in the virtual machines, by the way, both this uh, and uh, Debian 8. I really don't see any advantage over one from one over the other at least not yet I'm not seeing any advantages both seem to be running pretty good in a virtual desktop environment so take a look at Point Linux and Debian 8 and the mandatory tweak tool all right, all right if you have any uh, questions or comments go ahead and um, post them below in the comment section don't forget to subscribe if you have not. Let's see, it's almost midnight here, so it's time for me to go to bed. Thank you so much for watching and listening, and as always, I will catch all of you sometime in your technology future.